gut-wrenching, it's gutting, it's desperate, and you wake up every morning thinking this has been a nightmare. A mother's message that's heartbreaking to hear, especially during the holiday season. This time of year, we see a big increase in DUIs. Thanks for being with us tonight at 7. I'm Ty Steele. And I'm Edie Lambert. 42-year-old Alan Travis Leary was killed after he was hit by a suspected DUI driver the week after Thanksgiving. Tonight, his mother talked about her loss with KCRA3's Brittany Hope in the hopes that this may save someone else's life. Alan would always post on his Facebook page, especially if it was a holiday or a known weekend, hey, don't drink and drive. I've got you covered. I'll come get you. He would never drink and drive. And so the irony that somebody so careless, so heartless, so irresponsible could take this, the life of my son, who would never have done that. I, I honestly have no words. I have no words. 42 year old Alan Travis Leary was hit by a suspected DUI driver who CHP says ran a red light in the middle of the day in this Sacramento County intersection. And he was just driving home from work. He died in the hospital a few days later. These are my son's last heartbeats that the nurse gave to my granddaughter. And this was the biggest, strongest, most beautiful heart that's probably ever existed. On Thanksgiving Day, he said to me, I am so happy with my life. I have wonderful children. I have a wonderful family. I have this amazing friend group. I love my job and I love the people I work with. Alan leaves behind two children. My nine-year-old grandson will never have his father. My 19-year-old granddaughter will never have her dad walk her down the aisle when she's married or be there at her college graduation in two years. He will be remembered through his music and his art. Honestly, when we do this, it's like, I don't know, I just feel every bit of my son's fingertips and technique as I look at these. His legacy will be honored through his family's activism. We're going to march on December 30th. We're going to go to that intersection in Orange Grove Avenue and Roseville Road, and we are going to march in unity on behalf of my son. I don't know if people will take notice. I don't know, but this has to stop. You can't leave families this devastated. It has to stop. His memory will live on. I just have always called him my beautiful boy because that's what he was. Reporting in Sacramento. I was with him when he took his first breath and I was with him when he took his last. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. So now the family wants to advocate for breathalyzers to be required in everyone's car across the board. And they may see that because just yesterday, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration laid the groundwork for that to be a new standard. As for the suspected DUI driver, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says he was released from jail with a court date.